I've been pretty interested in watching from the outside in as just like a eager spectator has been some of the backlash that old Doja Cat's been getting online, which has been really surprising to see it kind of play out the way it's been playing out. Um, I don't really understand why she seems to have such a, um, what, what would you call it? Such an um, antagonistic, is, it, is that a word? Antagonistic flipping relationship with her fans. I know some people like to do that. Some artists like to have a little bit of a, you know, of a friendly back and forth with their fans where it's not super serious, but you kind of always take the piss out of them. The kind of one that jumps out to me, first of all, will probably be, um, what's his face? probably be Tyler the Creator when he kind of first came about they kind of had a little bit of a fraught relationship with their fans where it wasn't always you know kisses and rainbows and shit and sometimes they'd get really annoyed but most of the time it was it was kind of a use as a ploy to kind of feign feign a little bit of flipping you know a little bit of friction between you and your fan base and make it seem as if it's all fraught when really and truly deep down you love and appreciate them but for some reason i get the feeling from doja cat she doesn't really feel the same way and from what i can see most of it kind of stems from the negative reaction she's been getting because of her alleged boyfriend that she's going out with. I think the story is that her boyfriend um, may or may not be an abuser and then the victim um, who the, that boyfriend allegedly may have abused essentially reached out to Doja Cat directly to tell her what happened and what not and fill her in um, as kind of where men like to do and Doja didn't really respond too well to it or maybe she did I'm not too sure how you read getting blocked but she decided to just block the lady and I guess people on the internet saw that as her basically saying hey I don't give a fuck what that guy did to you he's my man now go fuck yourself and that lady didn't really receive it too well and neither did the fans but you sit there and you think to yourself hmm what do the fans want? Do the fans want to dictate who she dates and who she goes out with? Is that what they actually want? They actually want to maintain that sort of power and influence over her life where they kind of decide um, who she kind of is dating and who she kind of goes out with. It's a very, very bizarre sense of entitlement and just, you know, lack of minding your business that some fans kind of have. And I think a lot of it kind of stems from stand culture because nowadays if you're a popping artist especially if you're on the doja cat level where you're essentially trying to ascend to those kind of lofty rihanna sort of heights or nikki and heights wherever it may be most likely you're going to employ or you're going to encourage that sort of stand side of your fandom because they're the ones that are really going to get you over the edge to terms of kind of blowing and getting to the next level and becoming that superstar so you kind of need a lot of those fanatics who follow your every move know everything about you or think they do and kind of you know spend their entire lives dedicated to just knowing everything about you inwards and outwards but sometimes it can obviously be for the worst because you can feel like you don't really have any privacy and you see a lot with these south korean singers these k-pop stars especially these black pink girls i see all the time from time to time especially when they go on holiday or they're just out and about milling around with their friends they essentially have to you know go into hiding when they step outside put a how on low you know really make it known that they don't want to stop and chat with the fans acknowledge them with a little hand wave but it kind of seems like a little bit of a prison in its own self you can't really go out and about and do your own thing you kind of always have to watch your back because there's always going to be an eager fan running around slapping a picture of you when you're maybe in an uncompromising position or when maybe when you're just minding your own business but it's a very strange anyway affair of all and i think the latest sort of chapter in dojo cat against her fans um on top of you know rehashed images are being shared now of her allegedly being in these kind of tiny url chat rooms with people that you know people on the internet or people that prescribe to a certain political ideology you probably don't like which i don't really understand it to be fair it just feels like discord type of stuff but you know people describe that as like right-wing incel shit but people don't like it but the other thing to kind of add to the chapter of Doja Cat against her fans has been this little affair that Pop Basis spoke about, where essentially Doja just went on Fred's, I guess because that's her platform now, she prefers to talk on there because I guess, you know, probably doesn't get as much blowback as she would do on Twitter. Um, and she decided to write the following, which is an interesting kind of post to put out there, just unprovoked. It was like, my fans don't name themselves shit. If you call yourselves a kitten or a fucking kittens, that means you need to get off your fucking phone, get a job and help your parents with the house. 
<laughs> don't get me wrong the sentiment is pretty good but the fucking level of aggression that she's coming out with her fans for deciding to call themselves something cute which most fans do right they have a name for their own themselves as a collective of a fan you know, you know to name their collective fan base or maybe the the artists themselves gives them this sort of name um you know the, uh, the easy example you can think of was monsters with flipping you know lady gaga and shit but i guess doja isn't a fan of this and maybe because it's come off the back of the internet for the last two days trying to cancel her because she's allegedly got a boyfriend that may be an abuser and then the pictures of her coming out being in these tiny chat rooms there's something definitely going on with her but i would like to know what the deal was i wonder if it's just one of those things where you know i've kind of spoken about it sometimes as well on a pod before there is this lack of understanding or appreciation of what must, what must happen imagine if you're like incredibly talented at what you do but you just don't like what you do like imagine you got a God-given gift of singing, of being able to put records together, of dancing or rapping, but you generally don't enjoy doing it. You hate every aspect of being a celebrity. You hate every aspect of fucking performing, but it just happens to be the one thing that you excel at easily. You can write songs in your sleep. You can perform, you know, sold out shows and amazing choreography, you know, with your, you know, going with your hind times behind your back, but you don't actually enjoy it. You don't actually enjoy the fucking life that it kind of brings you. And there must be a weird prison to be in because I've got a feeling that might be part of it. Or this might stem from the, you know, quite obvious self-hatred that she a little bit has, which she kind of, you know, it comes out in certain bits of her blackness, which I think some people have spoken about. I haven't really seen it myself, but I've seen some fans say that there is some evidence out there of her basically saying that she's a bit of a self-hating black person because she doesn't really have a good relationship with her dad, I think, who may be black and the mum is white. So let me kind of play into it. Um, but I've just generally kind of, my kind of, my kind of hard time of getting on the flipping Doja Cat train has just been because I guess I'm unfortunately one of those people who kind of takes everybody as a package. I'm very... I find it hard to separate the person from the art at all times. So when it, when I look at Doja Cat, I just look at somebody and I think to myself, you just you just come across very unpleasant, which I'm probably sure she's not, but she just comes across very unlikable. So it's difficult to kind of get into and root for her because unfortunately, I feel like nowadays, um, artistry, especially when it comes to music, is intrinsically tied to your likability. Like it's just one of those things. Unless you come into the game um not wanting anybody to kind of get to know who you are as a person and not using your personality as a sort of thing like maybe like a Kendrick Lamar does right where he just kind of you know uses his art and his music to kind of tell stories but he's not exactly trying to be Mr. Charismatic that's probably different but I feel like most artists out there have to kind of you know work both things at the same time they have to probably have a pop and personality and kind of focus on the music in order for it to kind of blow up and I feel like for whatever reason, it's probably not her fault, but Doja just comes across as somebody who, I don't know, I just probably wouldn't like or get along with in the slightest. And it may have to do with the whole self-hating black thing. It may have to do with the whole only dating white dudes thing, which I find very, very odd um, for whatever reason. I know it's a preference. Everyone's got their preference, but I find just like, you know, specifically only being into very, you know, very, very Caucasian looking with men who usually look like shit. I just find it very strange. And then just in general, just we it's weird relationship she seems to have with her fans where she seems to really, really despise them in all its facets. It's really bizarre because I always get the feeling that she's you know, meant to be. She's kind of destined for great things. She's sort of destined to be the kind of heir to the throne when it comes to, you know, um people like a Nikki, people like a Rihanna. She's obviously the only logical choice, I feel like, out of that whole cohort of girls because she's really talented, she's got great range, she can rap, she can sing, um choreography's on point, um creative direction is great, good style, looks amazing. Like everything kind of ticks the boxes, but there's just something missing. And most of it has to do with her kind of, I think, in my personal opinion, just personality that she comes across a little bit icky you know what i mean someone that you probably wouldn't like and in some respects like, she kind of gives me a lot of like azalea banks energy similar to that sort of stuff like you know azalea banks is the same right incredibly talented incredibly amazing at putting songs together clearly an artist with a capital a but as a human being not a lot of people out there are really rooting for azalea banks you know to win and i think that this is starting to happen to you know um doja maybe she wants this maybe she actually wants this maybe she's purposely doing this to sort of rid herself of the fan base that she doesn't like in the same way the dj sometimes i remember this one dj guy that i used to know you know I, I feel like it was just an excuse to just cover up because he was a shit dj but he used to always say that he enjoyed clearing the dance floor 
and the idea behind it was that imagine you're in a sort of like party they're playing fucking break beats drum and bass jungle bass music house music whatever he would just come in and just play a, a fucking jazz record for nine minutes right like after the the other guy before him played or something imagine you're coming on after fucking one man or something and then you just play fucking a jazz tune for like nine minutes or a country record for four minutes and you effectively kill the mood and kill the dance floor but he used to purposely like doing that because he wanted to quote unquote reset the room and maybe that's what she's doing maybe she wants to reset her fan base so that she has a particular fan base that kind of knows how to behave knows what she likes doesn't like and they can kind of go along with that way she doesn't have to keep you know explaining herself or feel like she doesn't have fans that really get what she's on about i'm not really too sure either way it's been fascinating to watch from afar and i'm eager to see how this plays out because i have a feeling more likely than not it won't end well because i feel like you know whenever artists feel as if they're not they're irreplaceable and they're the special ones usually the fan bases decide to remind them who's really in charge and it goes another way because i think most of these guys unfortunately because i think if i was her what i would do is just focus on the art if it was me like but then again i think you know a lot of these people for some reason have a very you know they don't really have great self-awareness for some reason i'm not really too sure why it is but i feel like if i was a doja i would i would be very aware of how unlikable i am just as a human being because of my love interest because of my attitude because of how i speak how i act, walk talk whatever how i troll whatever it may be i would understand that some people just won't like certain things about me and what i'll do is i'll just focus on the art i'll just focus on putting out good music i'd fo focus on, on making amazing videos putting on amazing live shows and just keep it trucking that's what i would personally do but a lot of these guys and girls they whine and complain about certain fan interaction and whatnot but they want everything they want to be left alone but they want all the accolades um then they want all the understanding then they want not to be judged it's like a fucking weird game that they all play so i feel like in the end this might end up biting her in the foot but let's wait and see how this plays out but doja is definitely not feeling the fans calling themselves kittens and she's not feeling her fans in general being fans <laughs> which is fucking weird um